And the VS Code hint tip of trick of the week is the box laying extension for VS Code. This has a built-in box laying runtime that you can use. It comes with a debugger, a web server you can launch. Boxling has support to execute uh, files as is, so BXS files, those are the Boxling script files, or even BX classes that have a main method. You can just execute them right away. That sounds um, it sounds has... kind of dark, Eric. What's that? It sounds kind of dark. You can just execute them. How about you can just run, run them, them right away? Sure. We can yeah. say run. <laughs> you just kill uh, them. It includes language support for box lang, so that's your syntax highlighting. We also have an alpha version of our language server integration. If you've used um, other extensions for maybe bigger languages like Java, C Sharp, uh, JavaScript, you'll see how the language server can give you things like find this method, I'm at a method call, give me the method definition. It knows exactly where to jump. Find me all the usages of this. Let me rename them across this whole project. And it does that based on knowing where it is, not just by, uh, here's the string. So, And Eric, if you look at the, direct your attention to the chat, Luis is also uh, giving us some key points to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luis, Luis has joined the podcast, but just in text mode. So uh, all this comes with support of existing CFML functionality. So, so you still get your CFML highlighting. Um, we're working on those same kind of things for CFML. Um, if you're running on a boxing server, your CFML code can be debugged, right? Things like that. So install it now. That's VS Code box laying. Yep. And I, again, I'm going to point out to the chat. He says, and a debugger. Oh, yeah. And a debugger. <laughs> the tech support for CFML too. Debugger for CFML templates too. Yeah. I, so I hear there's a debugger. I think we've this. talked about it on this podcast before, <laughs> but it bears repeating. Um, if you're like, most of us, myself included, that most of your development is dump and abort. A debugger is so incredible because you can stop early and just step in until you see the problem. <laughs> you can highlight, hover over a variable and see the value of the variable at that moment instead of having to add a new dump and go again, <laughs> right? From what I understand, too, People have attempted confusion debuggers in the past and like this, and they've never quite worked right. But um, this one does, there's, and it's easy. There are some good debuggers out there. I know um, uh, Lucy has a Lucy debugger by, was it Software Cobbler? I think is his name on GitHub. Um, and, and it's good. It, there is some friction getting it going uh, where you have yeah. to start your server with the right Java agents and things like that. Well, since we're in charge of both the runtime and the extension, we're making that much easier for you. <laughs> so yeah, and one thing about us, you know us, we want to make it easy to to learn about it and to debug it and write tests for it. So that was our VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week, brought to you by Modernizer Die Podcast, CFML News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on CFML News or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel.